Hi guys, it's Rob Bringy here. I hope you're doing very well. Sorry there's been quite a gap in my mental health YouTube channel, uh, but there have been, well there were complications, but we'll leave all that behind because today's video is very short and is about new beginnings. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and push the little bell icon and then videos I do will pop up. So, it is never too late to start a new beginning, you know? You can start one right now by focusing on your breath, say, or realizing that all the past is is a is a construct of um, images and narratives uh, in your mind that are very likely <laughs> holding you back in some way. It's good to have fond memories, obviously, but we uh, the past has gone and the future is where we're heading. You know, even that is only an idea conjured up in the now, in the present. Uh, but I would very much encourage people, as well as myself, to learn this recently, um, to point their feet away from the past, as Bob Dylan put it. Keep your feet fast, point away from the past, without being too cold and ruthless. But the point is, whatever happens, um, you get made homeless, you lose your job, you get broken up with, um, you know, uh, I'm sure some of you can relate, I can relate, it's never too late to start again, and in fact, shedding old skin, um, I think is a very physically and psychologically and spiritually healthy thing to do, uh, your body does in fact regenerate, um, for you strict materialists out there, strict materialists, uh, your body does regenerate itself entirely seven times throughout your life on a cellular level. So, if you don't believe me, believe biology. So, guys, fresh start. Look forward. Don't look back. That doesn't mean don't process things that are bothering you and being in, in total denial about stuff. But you know what I mean. Just try and relax and look forward and deal with things one thing at a time. As a great Zen master once said, the essence of Zen is one thing at a time. You can't be in two places at once. Okay? So wherever you are, sat on a train, sat in your room, whatever mood you're in, whatever thoughts are cascading through your brain, whatever's happened, remember that you can always just take a breath, click your fingers, delete that number that was bothering you or that person's email, block them, whatever you need to do. Go for that jog and have a fresh start. All right, guys. Goodbye. See you soon.